In this lesson, we're going to talk about compound inequalities. We're going to discuss what a compound inequality is, and then we're going to look at compound inequalities that are joined by the word and, and then ones that are joined by the word are, or. A compound inequality is an inequality that combines two simple inequalities. For example, a compound inequality is x is less than 3 or x is greater than 5. This counts as one compound inequality combined from two simple inequalities. The word or indicates that x can be either less than 3 or greater than 5. Either condition is a solution. Less than 3 or greater than 5. In this example, x is greater than 0 and x is less than 4. Again, it's a compound inequality. It's two simple inequalities joined together to make one compound inequality. The word and indicates that x must be greater than 0 and less than 4. Both con conditions here, both conditions must be met for x to be a solution. Let's take a look at an example graph x is greater than 0 and x is less than 4. So we're going to put an open dot at 0 and draw our arrow to the right, and an open dot at 4 and draw our arrow to the left. And since it's an and compound inequality, we want where the, those two inequalities overlap. We want to know what's both greater than 4 and, I'm sorry, less than 4 and greater than 0. greater than zero. So the solution to this, this is not what I would actually have as my answer. What I would have as my answer, if you think of that as kind of the work here, is I would put zero here, a circle here, and then this would be the answer. Just this part here where they overlap. So one is a solution, one is greater than four, zero and less than four. Two is greater than zero and less than four. 1.5 is greater than zero and less than four. We often see this written more simply as zero is less than x is less than four. Notice the inequalities in our combined statement are both facing the same way. This is always the case. They are always facing the same way. And if you always have the smaller number on the left, they will both be less than. If the bigger number is on the left, then they will both be greater than. But you never have a less than and then a greater than here. They're always pointing the same direction. Sometimes, very rarely, you will see a compound inequality that actually has no solution and you'll be able to see from the graph that there's no overlap. If we take a look at this one, it says graph x is greater than negative three and x is less than negative four. So if I put an open circle on three and I go to the right and an open circle on negative four and go to the left, you can see that there is no overlap here. So this actually has no solution to it because there's no overlap. And this makes sense because there are no numbers that are less than negative four that would also be greater than negative three. Let's take a look at another one. We've changed this problem to an or problem, and this inequality actually does have a solution. It's everything that is greater than negative three or less than negative four. So it's anything that's not between negative four and negative three is a solution. So this is the solution. You'll have two pieces to your compound inequality graph when it's an or. I kind of think of them as like boat oars, like there's a little guy in a kayak, right? I'm a terrible drawer. Maybe I can. There, that's my little guy in his boat and he's 
doing the ors. It, the, the spelling of that or is actually O-A-R, but if that helps you remember that it usually looks like this, then that's good to go. I've got two more examples for, to show you. This one is graph x is greater than 3 or x is less than or equal to 3. So that'll be an open circle on 3 going this way and a closed circle on 3 going this way. I actually ended up filling in that three there and going all the way. And so you can see that everything is a solution to this. All numbers, all real numbers are greater than three or less than or equal to three. That's actually all real numbers. And our graph here, one more example. We're going to graph x is greater than or equal to two or x is greater than one. So we're going to put a closed dot on two and go to the right and an open dot on one and also go to the right. Now, because this is an OR graph, it's all of the things from both of these pieces. If it was an AND graph, you would start at two and go to the right because that's just the part where it overlaps, but it's an OR graph. So this does not look like a boat OR. This is one of those very special cases where the solution is actually everything that's greater than one. We don't even need this condition because this condition is already included in this condition. So this would be X is greater than one to write it more simply. And that's a brief overview of comp compound inequalities for you.